Today we're hanging out with some cows. We are at Lady Lane Farms and look at that, look at that piece of tail, you guys. You know, how blessed are we? I love a good piece of tail. No matter the tail, it's gonna taste good. That's not what I meant. You guys, you're the perverted ones, not me. All right, cut, cut. I can't tell people they're perverted, especially when I said it, I'm the perverted one. Remember what Dr. Carmichael said? Look, I'm just saying, ma. Please, we're talking about tails here. I can't even film an episode without hair, yakety yak, don't talk back. You know what I'm saying? Back to one. He told you that you need to remove the cords from underneath your bed and, you know, have a funeral for them and say goodbye. Why would I want to bury my cars, Ma? It's not a burial. It's a ceremony where you say goodbye for the last time. Ma, that feels like a burial. That feels like a burial, Ma. Listen, Tony, if you want to say goodbye to your cars outside, don't do it next to the petunias I just planted. Their roots need to take, especially if you want to live to eat that oxtail that you're brazen. Spoiler alert, Ma. Cut back to Tony at the farm. I mean, cut back to me. You get it. So now you know what's oxtail. Well, what even is oxtail? Oxtail is the tail of the cow. You see them swatting away their tails, getting the flies out of the way. Well, believe it or not, that part of the cow has the most flavor. It's moving all the time. That means blood gets to those muscles and it's just delicious. I believe every part of the animal you can use in a safe and respectable way. And when you cook meat that lies next to the bone, you're gonna need to braise that meat to loosen it, to tenderize it. Without further ado, we're gonna be braising oxtail today. I can't wait to show you. And none other than cooking with Tony Rigatoni. Let's go! Hey, this is cooking with Tony Rigatoni. Yeah, I know, I'm a joke, but the food, it's for real. Come on, let's watch. Hey, what's up? That's Tony Rigatoni. Today we're braising oxtail and it's just about the perfect meat you've ever had that goes beautifully with a pot pie. Perfect for the fall season, so let's get started. All right, I thought I'd take the time to show you how to clean a leek because a lot of my friends, none of them know what to do with leeks. And I was like, well, how come? They're basically like a long onion and they're really delicious in anything that you're gonna braise. And then I took a couple of stalks of celery, chopped those up, about four carrots. That's a diamond cut right there, what I was doing. And then I have three shallots. I chopped those up. And then we're gonna be chopping up some garlic right here. I just smash them, dice them. I've got four potatoes, chop those up. Then you season with salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. And I mix all that so it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna be drying off my oxtail with the paper towel and I season with salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna sear off the oxtails on high heat. Once I get color on all the sides, I'm gonna turn them and eventually remove them, all right? I'm gonna keep my pan on high heat. Now I'm gonna add all of my veg into the pot. Once it gets color on it, I'm gonna add about a cup of water. This is the bouquet garni. I got thyme, rosemary, and parsley. It's the classic bouquet garni. You just wrap it around all the way, cut the tail, and tie it off where it started. Boom. This is a great tool to have. Thanksgiving's coming up. Now, a cup up, sorry, a full bottle of wine. Who am I kidding here? In there, I added the fennel seeds, the sugar, the bay leaf, and the lemon zest. I'm going in with my oxtails and then the bouquet gunny that goes in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna pull it out. You notice there's still significant juice in there. I'm gonna rotate my tails, okay? They need to cook evenly. Then I'm gonna put it back in for about 90 minutes. Now I'm moving on to my pastry dough. Okay, now I'm choosing to make a pot pie with this, but you can just braise it. That's why it's oxtail two ways. Once your pie crust gets crumbly like that, you add your five tablespoons of water. And again, I have all these recipes on my website, www.tonyrigatoni.com. Now, 90 minutes later, my oxtails are ready and they're beautiful. Look at how juicy. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you what it should look like. These could braise for a little longer, but I'm gonna turn this into a pot pie so it's gonna do a secondary cook so I'm showing you how to pick the oxtail 
and what it should look like when it's done. And that's the bone of the tail. I actually turned those into a bone broth and I transferred all my uh, food to a cast iron. I put a half a cup of cheddar cheese on top. Now I'm gonna roll out my pastry dough. It was sitting in the fridge for 30 minutes and I put it on parchment pa paper because it just easily transfers right on top. Oh, look at this. Perfect for the holidays, you guys. The gifts I'm freaking giving you right now, okay? Forget about it. Now I'm gonna put my egg wash on top. It helps with the browning. And then 25 minutes later, look at that. It's freaking beautiful. Oh my God. It's so, look how flaky it is, you guys. Oh my God. It's a masterpiece. I mean, this is like, I'm done. I don't know what to do. It's like perfect. It, it, it doesn't get any better than this, you guys. Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye. Please like or subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. You know what? I'm not burying any of these. They're going right back under my bed. <laughs> and Dr. Carmichael can suck it. I'm gonna go eat that freaking pot pie. See you next time on Tony Rigatoni. You guys, you saw what it looked like up close. Now you're gonna see what my face looks like when I eat it. <laughs> It's so flaky. It's like butter. See how the vegetables, they stay home? Like this video and tell me what I can make in the next Cooking with Tony Rigatoni. Okay, cheers.